Hello everyone, this is Gene. I'm back with the second video of the day. So, I wanted to do a bit of a comparison between an anti-comic skater and a tweet from, from an anti-comic skater regarding the Jay Lee, Tom King situation, uh, which is why Tim Doyle's tweet is starting off this video. And then, the tweet from Ethan Van Stiver, who is of course the Caesar, right, of Comic Skate, Comic Skate number two. <laughs> in my opinion, right? First there's Richard Meyer, and then there's Ethan, right? But when it comes to artists, you know, he's the one with the most experience, the most respected. So I wanted to compare these two to see how a comic skater, right, one of the head comic skaters, you could say, and an anti-comic skater respond to the same situation, which is uh, Tom King trying to cancel uh, artist Jay Lee for doing a cover, a cyber frog cover for Ethan uh, and, and his cyber frog uh, Vect Planet uh, book. So let's first look at Tim Doyle, right, who on Twitter, his Twitter handle is Nakatomi Tim. Now, Tim is anti comic skate, but he's not, he doesn't work in comics, at least from what I know of, right? Here's what he has said about himself, right? On his Twitter, uh, on his Twitter, uh, the little blurb or profile uh, at the top, it says uh, that Tim is a freelance artist and art director. Clients include Me Metallica, Weird Al, and Spoke Art. Founder of uh, Nakatomi Inc. Uh, and then his profi profile is at timdoyle.com, right? So I decided to check his Nakatomi Inc. I will admit that I do find it funny that a man who looks pretty damn uh, white, right, Caucasian, goes by the name Nakatomi, which sounds pretty Japanese. And if you look at his uh, Nakatomi Incorporated site, the lettering has this very, you know, stylistic Asian Japanese uh, look to it. Now, I don't know, maybe he has Japanese in his family. I'm not, I'm not familiar with his history. But I do find it interesting that a, a guy who at least looks very, very, very white, very American, right, uh, is using a, a Japanese, or at least Japanese sounding uh, name. But anyhow, right, on his Nakatomi Incorporated, right, on the about slash contact section, it says, Tim Doyle, founder, owner, owner and principal artist of Nakatomi Inc., a Texas-based illustrator and comics lover who has made art for IDW, so he has at least done some work in comics. IDW is a comics company. Image, comics again. Marvel, comics again. Hasbro and Metallica. So I find this interesting because there is a tweet, if you go through his uh, Twitter, where people are responding to him. <coughs> where people are responding to him and his tweet, he says that he doesn't work in comics, and you would know that if, if um, uh, you followed comics. Yet, here he is on his Nakatomi Inc. website under his own profile, saying that he's done art for IDW, Image, Mar and, and Marvel. So guess what? You have at least done work in comics, Tim. Maybe you don't work in it professionally, but you have done, work, you have done some work in it, which, which makes sense given that you are, by your own admission, a freelance artist, right? But then we have his site, uh, Tim Doyle Inc. And when you go to the About section, it says here that Tim Doyle is an illustrator and printmaker working out of Austin, Texas. And uh, let's see here, it talks more about his life that I don't care about. He uh, self-published a, a, a dairy magazine, right? Let's see here. Ah, here we go, at the bottom. It says, since then, he has produced art for clients such as Marvel, Dark Horse, Cartoon Network, Studio Canal, right? So again, the Marvel and Dark Horse are comics companies. Tim, Mr. Tim, I don't work in comics, right? But anyway... So that's what it says. So uh, 
I called BS on the whole I don't work in comics thing that he told uh, a person responding to him, right? But but this is his history, right? He's a freelancer who's worked with uh, uh, Metallica and Weird Al and several comics companies. Maybe he should be a bit more honest about that, Tim. Okay, but anyhow, right? Now that I'm done with that little rant, here's what Tim Doyle, who is anti-comics gate and has done work in the mainstream comic book industry by his own admission on his own websites. He writes, kind of torn here. Jay, referring to Jay Lee, chose to work with EBS, Ethan Van Skyver, and lend his name and fame to a literal hate group. Again, Comics Gate is not a hate group. The only thing they hate are what the pros do and the poor product they produce. There's nothing wrong with hating something bad, Tim. But anyhow, it continues, he hasn't apologized for that or retracted his cover, which is exactly the outcome that uh, Tom King and Tim Doyle and others want. They want for, for Jay Lee to bow and kowtow, right? and pledge his allegiance to them, right, and retract his cover and apologize, neither of which is, are, are things Jay should, should, do, should do, and I hope he doesn't. But it continues, Tom's offense, oh, sorry, it says here, on the other hand, couldn't Tom have handled it privately? Yes, that's exactly what people are calling him out for, Tim. Mr. I use a Japanese uh, last name, although I'm not Japanese, Tim Doyle. Tom's offense is way smaller than Jay's, though. Oh, really? Because all Jay did was just do business as a cover artist. He did a cover for Ethan Van Sky because Ethan could afford his rates, and they have a working relationship. There's a history here, given that he had done a cyber, that Jay had, had done a Cyberfrog cover uh, for, I guess, with an image back then, because I think Cyberfrog was what Ethan created, but I think it was released under the Image label back in the mid-1990s. So at the, at the time, he would have been working for Image, but still, there's a history here. He did a cover for, for Ethan and, and Image, I guess, technically. Back in the mid-1990s on Cyberfrog, now that Ethan's brought back Cyberfrog, he's doing a cover for someone he has worked with previously, who he has a professional relationship with, and who can afford his rates. He also did work for DC, which is the mainstream comics industry, right? The second of the big two. And he's doing a cover for, for them, several covers, I think, but an, at least one, right, with, with what's his name, Vorsash? I still can't get it right. Blue Wind told me how to say it, I still don't know how to say it. But anyway, the dude in the mask, right, from um, Watchmen like curling weights or whatever it is. Again, I don't follow Watchmen at all. I don't, don't know what the heck's going on. But still, I thought as an, as an image, it was very nice looking. Right? But still, so, we have this, right? So, Jay's offense of doing business with people who can afford his rates and that he has a good working relationship with, uh, that offense, according to Tim uh, I'm turning Japanese Doyle. That's worse than Tom's offense of trying to cancel the man, ruin a very um, uh, special but mournful day, given that his, his, his dog passed away, and have him bombarded with calls from friends, from uh, other work associates, right, asking him what's going on. So yes, uh, apparently if you're Tim Doyle, Jay doing business is the worst offense than Tom trying to ruin the, the man's professional career because he worked with somebody that you personally, Tim, don't like. And as part of a literal hate group, I'll say it again, the hate group is the mainstream comics industry because if people like you are in it, Tim Doyle. People like you who agree with canceling people for doing things you disagree with. He didn't do anything wrong. Even if Jay was comic skate. Even if he had a friggin' sign blazed across his chest and blazed across his head saying, I'm comic skate, even if he was as flamboyant about being comic skate as Ethan is, guess what? Jay did nothing wrong. He did absolutely nothing wrong. He did business. He had a contract. He fulfilled it. 
He had a contract with DC. He fulfilled it. He had a contract with Ethan. He fulfilled it. He did his job. And then uh, Tim, uh, Tim Boyle has a secondary tweet down here saying, uh, Also, throwing in the bit about his dog is an obvious ploy for sympathy. The death of Jay's dog has literally nothing to do with his working with a hate group, and including it in the story makes me doubt his honesty here. It's manipulative. Hmm. Yeah. This is, again, anti-comic skate, right? Mainstream industry uh, adjacent, I guess you could say. Right? Has done work in the mainstream industry. And he's saying that Jay mentioned the fact that his dog died is manipulative and that, and, that, and that the death of his dog has, has nothing to do with him working with a hate group. Well, I don't know. If you've ever had a pet, Tim, your, your uh, profiles on your website state that you have animals, you have cats, you have dogs. So if you actually give a damn about your pet, Tim, you well know the fact of A, how devastating it is when they pass away, number one. Number two, vet bills are expensive, chief. People take on work and work hard, right, to have to pay those down hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars, depending on what the treatment is. Do you think medicine and, and, and surgery and treatment is cheap? It's not. And again, he didn't do work for a hate group. Unless you want to count his work with DC, as working for a hate group, maybe he did that there. But, but since you're talking about comics gate, no, 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 Jay didn't do work for a hate group. He did work for a man that he has a previous relationship with who could afford his rates and liked his work. He did his job to provide for his family, including his pet, his puppy, who is now deceased. And for you, Tim, to, to not just imply, but, but fly out state that he's being manipulative and that, and that you are doubting his honesty shows just how terrible of a human being you are. And I fear for your pets. <laughs> and then we have Ethan Van Skyver. Now, whatever my criticisms of Ethan, and there are many, but whatever my criticisms of him as a person or stuff that he's done or said online, I will give Ethan this much. He was a class act here in this tweet. It reads, for what it's worth, I love your art, Jay. I was happy to be able to hire you, and cyber, cyber frog fans love the covers you drew. I'm so sorry these activists ruined what was meant to be a quiet family moment, attempting to punish you for it, R.I.P. Loki, who is, of course, uh, Jay's now deceased puppy, right? And Jay, of course, uh, he responded on Instagram to what uh, Tom, uh, Tom King said and the drama that ensued because of what Tom King said. So, Ethan was a complete... <laughs> Ethan was a complete class act here. This is called showing compassion for someone. Okay? This is being a first-class a-hole, and this is showing compassion for a person who was pulled into drama they didn't know about, and that never needed to happen. And you wonder why people go comic skate. This is why. Okay, this is Ethan showing compassion towards someone he has worked with, right? And this is Tim Doyle showing just how terrible of a person he is, all because Jay Lee worked with somebody Tim Doyle doesn't like and has ideological differences with. This is anti comic skate, right? This is anti CG. This is the mainstream industry that Tim has worked for and done work for despite his claims of, I don't work in comics. And maybe you don't work in comics, but you've done work for comics companies. Tim, your own websites show that. Tim. And then you have a former mainstream professional showing the better side of himself. If Jay Lee ever goes comic skate, if he ever drops his, his neutral stance and says, I'm comic skate, this will, will be the reason why. The compassion shown from Ethan in a public space, mind you, this is from Twitter, 
compared to the disgusting display and lack of humanity from Tim. I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. Doyle. <laughs> anyway, that's the video. Please let me know what you think, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye. I'm sorry. Bye.